Here at the Computer Surgeons, we take used computers very seriously. Every month we sell an average of around 10 computers and repair around 3 to 4. At any given time, we have around 20 computers for sale. Each of these computers goes through a comprehensive test suite to make sure that they are a perfectly reliable computer before they're put out for sale. This is the table that we follow to make sure that they're bulletproof before they go out for sale. And this is the computer that we're going to be working on today. Nothing special, it's an HP. About 10 years old, but still gets the job done. Had Windows 7, it's gonna be getting Windows 10 today. Basic specifications when it was first made. That was very nice back in the day. Even now it's not that bad. But now we're going to perform what, what, what we call the smoke test. Which is where when you first plug it in, you hope that it doesn't go boom. So, let's give it a try. And plug it in. Okay, good. You see that little green light? That means that it's at least getting 120 volts from the wall. And now let's see what happens when we push the power button. Okay, there we go. We're booted up. And as you can see, it has a lot of RAM. 24 gigabytes. That is a lot. That's the most of this computer could handle. And for some reason, it's not detecting any hard drives. We'll diagnose that later. It could be that the drives are bad or they're just not connected because it's, it's only recognizing the uh, disk drives. So I'm guessing they're maybe just bad. And there's the Core i7 that it has in there. Very nice. I'm just going to quit without saving. And now it's time to get to dusting the computer. Made in 2010. Not bad for a computer 10 years old. Now we're going to get to the part where we start dusting the insides of the computer. Over time, they get gunked up with dust, and they can start running hotter, which is not good. You'll want computers to run as cool as possible. So I do recommend every once in a while you take your own personal computers out and just blast them with some dust, get them clean. Now we're going to start looking at some of the individual components. This is the power supply that powers the computer. Looks nice, nothing's blowing inside, there's the fan. So now we're going to put it all back together. And now we're to the graphics card. Not all computers have these, but some do that are more powerful. Once you have all the screws removed, you just separate it. And you want to take off the cooler that's on the other side, where the copper was. Then you just want to take your little can of dust and blow dust out that way. Then you want to take a paper towel and just remove the old thermal paste. That goes in between the um, chip and the cooler itself to fill any micro gaps. On this, you want to put a very tiny amount. You don't need much, otherwise it will flow over the sides. That's about all that you need. Then once that's done, all you do is you put the two halves back together. So now what you're going to want to do is do the exact same thing with your CPU cooler as with you did with your graphics card. You're going to want to take the four screws off of each corner with this one in particular and remove the cooler. Take off all the other thermal paste. I did that off camera. You want to put about a pea-sized amount of thermal paste right in the center. It'll spread out once you put on the cooler, so don't worry about that. Then you're just going to want to make sure it's directional. It only goes on one way. And then just going to want to put in the four screws diagonally so there's not too much pressure on one side. Wow, I have this computer. We got a 2 terabyte SSD. I did not expect that. A 1 terabyte hard drive. It's pretty average, the one terabyte hard drive. Two terabyte SSD was not. And then this other one terabyte hard drive. But for some reason it says that the drive was flagged bad by Intel in 2014. We'll test that later. And by later, I mean now. This is my little tiny testing computer. I like it a lot. Well, I tested the drives off camera because it took about 5-10 minutes. And I didn't want to film that part. Hi me. Um, and... The drive that was flagged, by, flagged bad by Intel was bad, no surprise. It still would work, but it's not most re um, reliable of drives. The 2TB SSD was good, thankfully, and the 1TB hard drive was perfectly healthy. That's the one that's going to be going back in this computer. Now it is time to install Windows 10. This is a fairly simple process if you know what, what you're doing. All you want to do is you want to uh, select yes to start the installer. It's going to start. You're going to want to select the version you want to install. It's going to do that. You're going to say yes, you read the license, format the drive. Then it's going to hit next. And it takes about 20 minutes or so. Okay. So 
As I was doing the Windows 10 install, I noticed that there was a weird noise come from the computer. It was the fan and the power supply, so naturally, I changed it out. But while I was in the process of changing it out, I noticed that burnt spot on the motherboard. That is for my front USB. That explains why none of them were working and I had to use one on the back to install Win Windows 10. This is not acceptable and I will not be selling this computer until I'm able to source a new motherboard for it. So now we're going to be going to this computer. This is going to be my dad's brand new computer. It is a gaming computer mid high end from around 2013 and it's going to be perfect for the light games he wants to play. So let's make him happy today and get this one going. So. I just did the same thing on this one as I did with the other one. I installed the w w Windows 10 now we're on the desktop and then we're going to take programs that we need to test it off that flash drive. So the first thing that we're going to test is the health of our hard drives. I use um, a tool called Crystal Disk Info to test this. It uses basic info stored in the hard drives to test the health of them. It looks like the hard drive has only one bad sector. That's not worrying at all. This is still perfectly usable and the SSD still has 80% health as well. That is normal for an SSD around this age. And now after this, we are going to test the performance and stability of the computer by running a um, tool I use called IDA64. It does stress tests on the computer. It puts everything to an unreasonable load and will just raise the temperature inside the computer a lot and make sure that it's not gonna overheat or anything. and I normally run this for about 10 minutes. Now it is time to install some basic programs like Google Chrome, Malwarebytes, VLC Media Player, OpenOffice, which is a free alternative to Microsoft Office, and Java. But because this is going to be my dad's brand new computer, we are not going to install OpenOffice or Java. Java is required to run OpenOffice. My dad is going to be using Microsoft Office because he already has a license for it. After everything is installed, it is time to check for any Windows updates and updates on the Windows Store for any pre-installed apps. After everything is up to date, we run a one hour YouTube video at 1080p to run a low load test on the computers. This is also the time where I make sure that the temperatures are adequate for a long period of time. After it passes that, it is time to run a disk cleanup, which gets rid of a few junk files the computer does not need. And also a disk defragment, which makes the drive more organized for the computer. After that, it is time to take some pictures of the computer and get an ad posted for it online. This is a picture of the front. Picture of one side picture of the back, picture of the other side with the side panel on, and a picture of the same side with the side panel off. So as you can see this is what a completed listing for us looks like. Up at the top you have the title and the price of the computer. Right below that you have the same five pictures that I just showed you of the front, the sides, the back, and the inside. Then right below that you have the body of the ad, which says, if I can zoom in, there we go, which says what I'm selling, what comes pre-installed, that it's going to be working just fine, what is inside the computer for like specs and stuff, what comes with it, what's available as accessories, that you can trade in your old computer for a small discount, how you can contact me, that they all come with a 30 day warranty, and that if the ad is still up, do not ask me if it's still up or if it's still for sale, because yes it is. So now you know just how much work goes into getting a single computer ready here at the Computer Surgeons. As you can see, each and every single one of our computers that, that we sell goes through a very rigorous testing suite. All of our computers include a 30 day warranty and we guarantee that you'll enjoy your refurbished computer for years to come. Thank you for watching.